you're proposing an amendment to the Queen's speech yes. about abortion in yes. Northern Ireland. Can you just explain exactly what it is you want to achieve? Well, so this month, our Secretary of State, Jeremy Hunt, went to the High Court to defend his right to refuse to let Northern Irish women have an abortion if they come to England and Wales for that procedure. So let me be very clear. This amendment is not about the rights and wrongs of the Northern Irish Assembly in deciding that they do not want women in Northern Ireland to be able to access abortion in Northern Ireland. This is about what happens when UK taxpayers come to England and Wales. It seems to me completely unacceptable that a woman can come from Northern Ireland to England and maybe need a, an emergency appendix uh, operation and we'll, we'll do that for free. But if she comes for an abortion, the doors are closed and we treat her as a second class citizen. And what the court said is absolutely, we are discriminating against United Kingdom citizens. Now the government says they're doing this out of respect for the Northern Irish Assembly. But what about respect for UK taxpayers? What about respect for Northern Irish citizens when they're in England and Wales? Why do we treat them differently in this way? Now you're trying to say that this is about what happens when people travel over to, mm. um, to England, to, to Wales, to Scotland, not about what happens in Northern Ireland. But of course mm. the reason that they're travelling over is because of the abortion laws in Northern Ireland. Um, and it just seems interesting that nothing's been done by Labour before on this. In 2008, Harriet Harman actually blocked moves in Parliament to liberalise abortion laws in Northern Ireland. So, but, why but what we've had, what's so critical is that we've had this judgment on the 14th of June that says that our Secretary of State has the power to let these women have an abortion in England and Wales if they wish to do that. The courts are very clear that the Secretary of State has a right to do this. So this is about the judgment that's been made this month and what happens as a result of it. I think there's also a question for all of us. Look, the DUP has form for intervening, a kind of reverse devolution. We know and we understand from Scotland that DUP politicians were trying to stop Northern Irish people who were part of a civil partnership having their marriage recognised in Scotland. Again, this is not about what happens in Northern Ireland. This is about what happens on our shores. And frankly, if the government is going to try and keep Nigel Dodds and Theresa May in the same voting lobby, what does this mean for the kind of policies that we might not see progress on? This judgment calls for all of us as UK politicians to ask whether our courts are giving us the power to help these women and to treat every UK woman with equality and fairness. The question is, are the government going to answer that call?